Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, this is going to be another spectator mode, and you now you might be wondering, what is this really about? And uh, first thing what I'm going to do, we turn off the fog of war, um, I think I'm going to turn off AI, reduce AI aggressiveness, and um, yeah, okay, now I can see everything. I'm going to be Bahrain. Alright, so basically, see there's, there's two places where... Um, drugs are produced in the world, or at least major locations, right? Two of the major locations. One is the Golden Crescent, featuring these countries, and the other is the Golden Triangle, featuring these countries. And in fact, it's where the borders meet in the Mekong River. That's where uh, most of this, yeah, yeah, and, you know, the, the, the stuff, the stuff comes from, right? And uh, over here is mainly Afghanistan, which is why the, I think the cat, wait, no. Hold up, I think I think we can see it from, uh, hold on, alliances, I think it shows up here. Where are the alliances at? Yeah, here. The capital headquarters are obviously in Afghanistan, and of course here it's Thailand. Uh, I, think, I think I made the headquarters situated there for a good reason. So, anyways, I want to see who would win in a battle between these three countries, uh, between these two teams, you know, which, which one is gonna come out on top. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna get Pakistan and Thailand, and then, uh, yeah, no, everyone's gonna get involved in this. And, um, yep, okay, the war has started. And uh, this one's gonna be a Golden Crescent versus the Golden Triangle. So, thing is, these two are separated from... What? Why is Bahrain like this? Oh, okay, because... Wait, wait, it's because I have this military. Wait, let me get rid of this. I don't need it. All right. Um, let me just, let me just spend all my money on investments and goods. That way I'm not making anything. Wait, let me just, okay, no, no, sorry, the 1% is kind of annoying me. Wait. Yep, okay, that's it. Anyways, yeah, so, uh, right off the bat, Pakistan has, um, gotten military access through China, which is, okay, that's actually pretty realistic. Uh, I could see that happening in real life. Okay, yeah, no, they're already they're already traveling through Tibet. But on the other hand, Myanmar has access through China. So two of the strongest players in both teams have military access to Pakistan's got access to India too. Okay, so th that is that is a little weird. They're also out in the ocean. Okay, so Pakistan's just they're they're securing every single route possible. But uh, right, I th I think they're going for more the India one because yeah, no, they're going for India because I guess. Um, they, they think Myanmar is going to uh, intercept them in China, which is seemingly happening right now. And uh, they might actually make a make an attack on... This is Kashmir, technically, right? No, this is Kashmir. But this is the Pakistani part of it. Whatever. They're going to attack northern Pakistan. Of course, it's not going to survive. Afghanistan is coming in to defend. So are the Iranians. But still, that is that, that marks the first attacks. And wait, I think some happened here, too. Uh, okay, so we, we're not we're most likely not gonna see much happen here, right? Uh, and they're peer, both sides are period yeah periodically just gonna invade each other, but they're gonna get kicked out. And this is more of like a grinding war, to say the least. And um, mo both sides are just gonna try to like wear each other down. I mean, let's let's just look at the casualties for a second because just to see this. Um, good amount of casualties, I guess. Just to, yeah, 92, okay, that's, that's actually pretty less, uh, for this game. We see, Myanmar still has military access. They, oh, wow, okay, they are, I don't know what they're gonna do with this military access to these two countries, but never, nevertheless, they're, they're, um, they're gonna, I don't know, bro, they're gonna fly there or something, who knows. Um. But yeah, no, I think I think this this front line is gonna remain pretty static. So, oh, oh, okay, the Pakistanis are here. They are taking a bit of no, okay, nothing. So that whoa. Okay, so these attacks are getting bigger and bigger. Actually, like they're seemingly just ex intensifying as it goes. But uh, you know, okay, there's literally no other wars. Wait, oh right, it's because I turned down the AI aggressiveness. All right, so we can just like sit here. Wait, I'm gonna just spam this. So here's the thing: what could really mess this whole like experiment up, right? Or maybe really just make this video more. Whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, so. Okay, so it, now it's Iran's turn, right? Pakistan ran out of t turns for the military access. Now it's Iran's turn, and Iran is doing insane. They've, they, they, bro, you guys just saw that. They just took a whole chunk out of Lao. And I think, um, okay, they, well, of course they lost that, but if Pakistan's coming in right from underneath uh, Thailand, but no, no, they, they got pushed out. It's just, I, I guess both sides just exchanging territory, you know? Um, Really, really not, not okay. Uh, Iran's coming once again this time in Burma. No, not Burma. Sorry, uh, Myanmar. My bad. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really not making it okay. Pakistan's got access through I India, Iran's got access through China. I think Afghanistan's the only one that doesn't have access through someone, which is kind of depressing, but at the same time, I guess they're more concerned with defending themselves, uh, and Pakistan's like. Kashmir check. What are they doing? Why why keep your troops like that? Why'd you do that? Who knows? Alright, you know, but I was I was gonna say ooh, okay, a bunch of whoa, a bunch of wars have started up. Okay. Norway versus Poland. Never thought I okay. That's I watch watch Poland versus Ukraine start up right now, like in, in like a few turns. Uh, we got Russia versus China, which has been going on for about a year, and I never noticed. A year in this game, and I never noticed. South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands versus the Falklands. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to be real. This this is the true showdown for the world right now. And I think, um, like, like you guys, honestly, man, I'm, I'm going to check back in these two islands at the end of the video to see, like, who who took over who. But this this right here is what's gonna decide the fate of the world, okay? Both have the power to conquer uh, five USA's at at at, um, at their lowest point, you know. So um, I think I think we should really really look out for these two nations. I mean, it's the battle of the century, battle of the millennium, and uh, other one is uh, oh yeah, Morocco versus Italy. I mean, um, I listen. Even in this world, Italy's battling its migrants, so. Uh, it's 2025 too, so <laughs> what's what's changed? What's changed, guys? They, they're assembling a whole army in Rome. They're going to go and land in Morocco pretty soon. And 30,000 should probably be enough to invade them. But the AI is obviously going to um, in take take Nador or Uja or whatever, one of these places. And then they're going to spend five, 50 turns uh, plundering the region for no re apparent reason whatsoever until the a other AI can just... Uh, continuously slam units into them, um, and grind them down, and then eventually kick them out. <sighs> yep, that's the age of civilizations to AI for you guys. And uh, so right now, though, China is dealing with a horrible war, right? This this war does happen sometimes, and uh, see, sometimes the, the, it can go either way. Actually, this is like a really really interesting one v one that happens in this game. Right, sort of like the Ukraine, like sort of like Turkey versus Iran, which, by the way, Turkey versus Iran is also a really common conflict. But in this world, weirdly enough, they are friends. Guys, I think all it took was just Iran to be in an alliance like this for Turkey to finally be nice to them. Like, guys, I'm you've seen it like a hundred times in these videos, or not hundred. Okay, I, I haven't I haven't even done that many spectator videos, but. What I'm saying is, you see it in like so many spec. <laughs> Every single time I've seen Turkey and Iran just fight each other, I've seen like a hundred times in my videos, right? Surprisingly, they're friends in this world, which is uh, something. Like Turkey might just attack Syria or something instead. Uh, same thing with okay, you know, Ukraine and Poland still look like they want to murder each other, and um, this war ended in peace with no one winning. So. Yeah, that's this what's all going on. But this war, right? The chi war again between Russia and China. This could um, theoretically result in China being immensely weakened. Not not destroyed, of course, but weakened, and that might affect the whole transportation of troops. This whole military access game that we have going on here. With uh, Thailand and now it's Thailand and Pakistan. So China really here. China is really just the highway here. 
like between both sides. And uh, we can see his Pakistani troops coming in. Now oh, they're going to invade, but they get kicked out. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, this this war is, uh, this war is actually has more movement than the, uh, than the narcotic war. So you know what? I'm just, I'm just looking at this for a moment, you know? Uh, really appreciate the sheer carnage of this front line. And um, yeah. And it's like, no, nah, it's like if, if Kyrgyzstan even gets involved, I think this like, or not just Kyrgyzstan, like say, ima imagine like these guys just turn on the Chinese and invade them. That would be a horrible war for them, for the Chinese, I mean. Because, you know, two fronts, it's terrible for the AI. That's the two front wars. The AI is kryptonite. Okay, let's. There's there's so many other wars. Uh, we got we got Rwanda versus Burundi. Let let's go, let's go. It's this is this is insane. What are they doing? Oh. Oh, they're, they're of course they're plundering. No way they they're attacking. But okay, so so Burundi is just holding on for dear life. Actually, um, they are, damn. Uh, what? Okay, this is actually interesting. I want to see. Come on. Come on, Rwanda, you can do this. Take him out. Come on, Rwanda. You This is why is this war so costly? This should this should not be this costly. And they're still going. It's it's cuz of the damn fortress. They Guys, just just build up in the Oh my goodness, this there's no way. There's no way they're they're staying like this, right? This can't be Come on, come on! T <laughs> you guys have seen this too, right? Oh wow! Okay, Burundi is just struggling for its life. Uh, that is wow! That is entertaining. Okay, let's look at the other wars. Um, Argentina versus Brazil, but Brazil is dying to Venezuela and Argentina. And see, this, that's the thing in this game. Hey, hey, hey! <sighs> what the fuck, man? Really gotta, really gotta ruin my spectator video like that. <sighs> Qatar, bro. Bloody Qatar, man. Now they killed me. Now look at me. I'm dead. I died with uh, what? Guys, we're we're twelve minutes. We we're le we're less than thirteen minutes into this video, and I'm I'm dead, bro. Qatar kills me. Well, there's only one thing left to do: spectator mode. This is this is what the video originally was, so I don't even care. Um, yep, Qatar just had to ruin that, I guess. I don't know. Interrupt the video. They they wanted screen time, guys. They they just just wanted screen time. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. That was just a that, that okay. That was just a throwaway prediction. I I whoa. Okay, so this is, they just invaded all. Uh, no, oh, they just invaded all Syria. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's that's wonderful. That's that's not, that's exactly what this game is a lot more accurate to real life than one would think. Is what I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, and wow. Okay, Venezuela and Argentina are absolutely destroying Brazil. Uh, the Brazilians have just been completely evaporated from this earth, and and now the peace deal is coming. Ooh. Ooh, that is a bad peace deal. I mean, Brazil is still strong. In fact, they're almost as strong as Venezuela, despite having a huge chunk of territory taken from them. But Venezuela, unfortunately, only got the useless parts of Brazil, the Amazon parts. That that is not gonna do much for you. So. I don't even know that I think it's Argentina that got the real the real benefit out of this war. Four hundred thousand new people, so yeah, that, that works for them. And uh, this Italian, okay, the Italians are doing pretty good, taking Switzerland, all that. Now let's look back on our narcotic war. And, whoa, ho, ho. oh, oh my goodness, what on earth? happened what manner of horrible things happened here what the wh what the fuck to <laughs> oh did what the fuck did malaysia just 
Um, did they just fucking, did they, did they just, they just walked in there, shot up everybody, and then just, just fucking stole all the territory. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh no, I, I should have. I should have been looking here, but like, guys, you know what? It's it's all it's all implied. It's all in the implied meaning, you know. We, we can we can only you know. I think I think it, it helps build up this the the sheer magnitude of what happened here. You know, we 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 never witnessed it, but we can see it's it's dire effects because like, holy shit, they lost badly. Lao doesn't even exist anymore. They completely annexed the entire country. Thailand looks like. Thailand lost the land. They're just Thai now. They're just they're, that's all they are, right? They lost Bangkok. They lost their capital. I think I think Malaysia just took this just to spite them, just to spite them. They took their capital because like, well, well, I mean, you, you, most people think of Thailand. They, they go, oh yeah, Bangkok. Oh my god, yeah, I want to go there for my trips. Uh, want to go have um, I don't know, sex with the locals or something. Yeah, some something blah blah blah. But um, <laughs> uh, this is this is bro. <laughs> they they just took that city despite them, and then um, <laughs> and now now they're left with, split into two, and this this part of Thailand is just stuck here in the middle of Malaysia, and 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 they took everything and they they even took wait did they take um they, d wow uh, they took everything they took I think they took uh, Myanmar's old capital too no no never mind this is their capital um, yeah. And then Myanmar, on the other hand, has got has be, has been puppeted by Iran. So this this war is okay. So the the golden I I guess the victory goes to the golden crescent here. Not only have they have have the golden triangle completely died, they have Iran's managed to puppet Myanmar too. And on top of that, and Lao doesn't even exist anymore. So uh, yeah, guys, I I think I think we can just say this video is over. I I, I honestly don't think there's much else um to do, you know. <laughs> so uh, that honestly, I'm I'm sorry, guys. That that was that, this this ending may seem pretty anticlimactic, but um yeah, I I, I think this is the end. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed. But actually, no. Before I before I stop this video, let's check on the one war that mattered the most. The one that we're all really here to see. And it's as I suspected. These two great powers were too powerful in that they could not overcome the other. And in this balance of power and this great struggle for this 50 centimeter stretch of the Atl southern Atlantic Ocean... These two islands, these two great nations, these two world hegemons will contest the fate of mankind. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.